Hey, these are my new friends, everybody. Um, we've been just sitting here chatting about something very, very important. We're talking about addiction. And that's something that doesn't just affect the life of the addict, but the whole family. If you've been through this, you know what I'm talking about. And if you're dealing with this, you are not alone. There's a nonprofit group called The Addict's Mom offering support for families who are suffering. And joining us now is Pamela Kurgan from The Addict's Mom. But we also have some important partners here that I want you to meet in fighting addiction. There's Nicholas Muir from the Pierce County Recovery Coalition and Andrea. And I'm going to really mess up your last name. Okay. Will you say it for me? Arani Kovacs. Arani Kovacs <laughs> from Residence uh, 11, 12. Residence, Residence 12, 12. Women's Treatment Center in Kirkland. Um, first of all, thank you all for spending the morning with us. But first of all, I got to ask, what is the Addicts Mom? What is this about? Why did you name it this? Well, I want to say thank you for having us. I did not name it this. The founder is from Florida, and she founded the Addicts Mom in 2007 because she herself had a child in addiction. Mm. And at this point now today, every state has a chapter mm -hmm. uh, on Facebook. It's a support group That's for so moms. We have a group for moms. We have a group for dads. We have a group for siblings. And it just goes on. And we need to spread the word on this because um, I just told you guys that my family's been dealing with this. My poor stepdad has had no one really to talk to about it, and the whole family's been affected. Right. So it is so important. But you also have some candles here. What, what are these candles? Tell us about these. The candles um, represent red is for active addiction, gray is for incarcerated because of addiction, white is for recovery, and black is for those who've lost their life due to mm -hmm. addiction. Because on September 15th, we will have an event at Bradley Lake Park in Puyallup called Lights of Hope. And it will have a candle lighting ceremony. That's beautiful and very, very special. Um, so these candles represent so many pains that people are going through. Um, but essentially, so many people have their own challenges. Now, I, I, this question is for you, Nick. What, what does the Pierce County Recovery Coalition do? So we're a community conglomerate of, you know, multiple. There's we have the suffering parent, we have the person in recovery, and then we have mental health um, organizations mm -hmm. attached and other nonprofits attached, like TAM, and there's a few others. But um, so what we're doing is trying to change the narrative in the county, and hopefully that spreads from jails, institutions, mm -hmm. and death as a result of you know these challenges to that of a life of recovery hope and a changed life and a second chance yes. exactly you know there's a lot of that's so important there's a lot of people who who just need that second chance and uh, it's great to see a coalition like this all right andrew i have to ask you you know you are a addiction recovery expert um is there what kind of help is available for not just the addict but for families I know this process is so scary for so many people, just like you shared about what your family went through. And there's so many resources. The first place to start, I would say, is starting to talk about it. And you know, these two are great resources to start with. Residence 12 um, is a great place to start. We've been open since 1981. And what we've discovered in the last, what, I was born in 81. So 37 <laughs> years, wow, um, almost 37, I have a month to go. Um, that it doesn't just affect the individual, it affects the family. And the families don't know what to do. They mm -hmm. have no idea where do I go, what do I do. There's a lot of shame and guilt. So we have a family program available free to the community where we have psychoeducation classes and a support group. Uh, any family member, even if they have somebody in addiction or they don't or they have no idea where to go, they can always call us and ask for guidance of where to go um, and what where to get help even though we are only a women's facility, we still help men and women and adolescents get connected to the appropriate places. That's incredible. How can people find you? So we have, you can find us on our website, which is residence12.org. Um, our phone number is 425-823-8844. 
We have counselors on staff Monday through Sunday, so you are welcome to talk to anybody, especially if you have no idea where to start. We can help you start that process. Bless you, all of you thank angels. You. Thank you for being here today. I know, guys, it's a heavy topic, but so much hope. And, and, and speaking yes. of hope, Light of Hope, uh, the event, September 15th, 7 to 9 p.m. It'll be held in Bradley Park in Puyallup. There'll be personal stories, resources, everything for anyone who wants to attend. Thank you all for being here. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And we'll be right back.